Hi, this is Mark Boyadges with IHS Automotive, and we're here doing a My Ford Touch software upgrade to the 2012 Ford Focus. And the process begins when you get this mailer with this very brightly blue colored uh, envelope in the mail, and inside, depending upon your version of My Ford Touch, you get this folder with information on how to implement the software update. Here, since this navigation system, since the system does have navigation, we have the SD card as well as the USB card, which both have software on it. The SD card has all of the new maps. They upgraded from Teleatlas to Navtech in this, uh, in this uh, new update. And then with the USB, we have uh, the new software that's going to change the graphics, change the HMI, and all of the functions of the My4 Touch system. Now, all the new 2013 models that have My4 Touch will be getting this, this new software update in production ready mode, but everyone before that will be getting these USBs mailed out to them. So your 2011 Edge, Explorer, 2012 Focus, uh, and, and any of the models that had My4 Touch before that. So this video is going to be a demonstration of the process to update and upgrade the My4 Touch system in a 2012 Ford Focus. So the first step in the process is to put in the USB drive that Ford supplied in the mailer. Either one of the USB drives in the Media Hub will work. And so what we can see here is the old interface and much of this content is still in the first generation mode. After we had plugged in the USB, it instantly started to go through this process of updating and installing the files. This popped up to tell us how long it was going to take, approximately 60 minutes. Ours only took about 48. It did have some information about uh, how we should make sure the car is on and make sure it has enough gas and make sure that the vehicle's exhaust isn't uh, blocked by anything. Um, and then once we were done reading this message, we were okay to uh, complete the start the final inst installation. Press OK. Now again, this whole process took 48 minutes, so we sped up this time to help you see some of these different screens and how many reboots and reflashes happened. This was the first of, I believe, two different reflashes, reboots that happened. And again, this initial sync black screen of death pops up. The black screen of death is a play at what Microsoft has in the PC world with the blue screen of death, which basically is reminiscent of when your PC has had some fatal error and needs to do a reboot. This is the screen that so many people in my Ford Touch vehicles were getting while they were driving. So this was something that was very problematic. It would interrupt navigation, audio, everything. And we can see it did the reboot, but still here it hadn't updated and installed the final version of, of the new my Ford Touch software. So what it does now is it installs nine different files ranging from a couple of different uh, zip files and things that, uh, you know, just different levels of code. It installs them, and again, this is sped up pretty quickly. And then restarts the system again. That's the Ford logo that you see at the end of your start uh, ignition on cycle. And then we see this sync installing service pack takes about 20 minutes. It did take about 20 minutes actually. And the service pack again, reminiscent of how Microsoft deals with the PC industry and the service packs for XP and Vista and Windows 7. Again, this performing scheduled system maintenance screen pops up reflashes and boom now we're looking at the new interface it's got cleaner lines cleaner text bolder content on there uh, a different menu with a large uh, clock above on the top and then three menu buttons in the center on the bottom now this showed up too installation failed we thought oh shoot we did something wrong it went so far as to print out the instructions in the mailer that we got with our update to highlight what would happen if this happens. Uh, I think they figured that this would happen so many times that uh, people might find some problems with the system, uh, think they didn't install it right. 
but the troubleshooting was in the system and uh, enabled us to quickly understand what was going on and fix it, continue and get the new software on board. Once we did, we inserted the navigation SD card. The navigation loaded up quite quickly, we felt. Uh, simply popping in the navigation SD card enabled the system to have uh, SD card navigation and uh, um, enabled the turn-by-turn the -turn route functionality. Initially, this popped up and it seemed kind of slow to draw the maps, which we thought was going to be the fix for the problem. But after we checked out some of the different uh, zoom levels, we zoomed out one and then zoomed in one, changed it from 2D to 3D, and noticed that in terms of the graphics processor, it actually runs pretty fast. So after 48 minutes in the car, we have completely and finally installed the new software upgrade for my Ford Touch. It took 48 minutes, but after that 48 minutes, it had actually given us an error saying that installation had failed. But Ford thought that this was going to happen so often that they actually printed this on the back of the, the manual with troubleshooting instructions. And upon following those, we had completely su successfully installed the update. It's got the new, more simpler graphics, whether you're going between the audio system, the HVAC screens, the navigation screens. We instantly already noticed a quicker voice recognition response. Uh, it, it seems to be able to understand what we say quicker, but also respond faster with, with good feedback. The POI response time is good. Um, and, and overall, we were, we're really excited to test out this new iteration after being with uh, the old iteration uh, for many, many months prior. And so over the next couple of weeks or so, we're going to dive into this a lot deeper and analyze and report on the outcome of the new My Ford Touch with Sync software upgrade. Go to IHS.com automotive for more information.